I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. This is going to be different. No shooting, at least I don't think. Depends on what's in this box. That's right. What I've done is we're going to be reviewing, well you know, these grab bags that they've had for years. You, know, you pay so much for a bag that you don't know what's inside them. Well Bud K Catalog has such a deal where you buy different sorts of backpacks and that. And there's one that's called a bug out bag, which is a big one. I decided, all right, I'm gonna buy one. I'm not gonna tell Bud K, I'm not gonna get in touch with him. So this is one that I actually purchased in order to see what we've got. And I paid with shipping and, and uh, the, the rest of the tax, I paid around $197. And supposedly there's supposed to be like $250 worth of stuff in here and I have not opened this as you can see we're gonna open this today right here I'm gonna take it get my knife out and we're gonna see actually what's in this bag and you know I don't think I'll really tell you as much as what I'm thinking because some things might be super to you or to me it's like hmm, i don't know and i said there's nothing to shoot at well i don't know there might be something to shoot at not with but at in here um could be targets and I, I don't know like i said could be anything in here so let's get this open because i'm anxious i've had it for oh i don't know a few days now but i wanted to wait and open it for you guys to see it they put some pretty strong tape on this thing, i'll tell you that type with all the threads in it and that. There we go. Okay. Well, first off, we've got a lot of packing. A lot of packing. I mean, a lot of packing. And there's the bag. There's probably more packing than this bag, the way it looks. Get that out of the way. Put my knife over here. I don't think I'm going to need that again, but... Okay, here's the bag. It's a pretty nice bag, I will say that. Uh, got the handle back here and, and all this, but now where's all the stuff? I don't know, there's all sorts of things in here. Uh, why don't I get rid of this? Because that'll help. We'll use that to set it off. There we go. Okay, open this back compartment first. I'll show you. I'm going to open this one. And there's several compartments here. That's nice. Nothing in that one. And there's a little side compartment. Anything there? Nope. So far, I haven't found anything. Nope, nothing in there. Maybe they don't load all the compartments. Well, like I said, I bought this myself just to... Yeah, that's uh, straps for... This thing, I guess. Yeah, that's part of this bag. Like I said, this is exploration for me as well as you. Probably, everything's probably in the main compartment. But I thought we'd explore the small ones first. Let's see if they hit everything in here. It's got to be in the main one. A lot of compartments in this bag I will tell you that so you know if you want something that's got a lot of compartments hey, this will work great for fishing too uh, you go along a shoreline you got all sorts of stuff that you can put in here now the thing is is how do you get into the rest of it right now we'll go over here take a look in this compartment I'm running out of compartments so sooner or later we're going to be finding something Ah, nothing in there. That's a good deep compartment. Nothing in there, I don't think. So, go on fast in this. Hey, you know, there's gotta be, there's supposed to be something in here anyway. So far we haven't found it, have we? All right, here, now. This is the big compartment, so there's gotta be something in here. Aha, I can see a few things. I don't know how many. Now, now we'll start pulling stuff out and see what we got. Uh, not sure. Flame, jet flame lighter. Okay, there's a lighter. Uh, 
this is a camel gun wrap. That's what it says. Something. I don't know. Anyway, that's what you can see there. We got that. Uh, portable USB camping lantern. It's interesting. This is bug out. Solar lighter. Okay, that's a thing you can see here. It's a solar lighter. And this is a survival kit of some sort. Water resistant case, fits in your pocket. Uh, this is vital to the bug out bag right there. It comes with it. Well, that figures. I mean, it's a bug out bag, right? Here is a uh, compass. That I guess you can snap this right here around your water bottle. That's what it shows where you can carry a water bottle along with you. Uh, this is a multi tool of some sort. We'll take a look at it. It's a very nice little multi tool. Uh, it's a very small one. It's got a clip on type thing. You can see there, I'm not going to go because we're not reviewing these products actually. At least not right now, we're not. Me eventually. Uh, this is uh, an emergency whistle. Three parts whistle. Whatever. And what is this thing? Good question. This is. doesn't tell what it is, so what we gotta do is we gotta open this. I do have to have my knife again. They said, we're both looking at this at the same time. And I still really don't know what it is. Oh, it's a solar power bank. Okay. Well, we're not going to get into all of that, but that's what that is. That's a solar power bank. So. We know what that is. Put this back in here. This is a balaclava, I presume, of some sort. That's what it looks like. This is a buoy knife. Okay, and we'll take that out. Another one that's anyway, that's what that is. That's a bully knife. Um, this is Second Amendment back backup buoy. So that's that's what was there. Uh, this, I presume, this is a knife. Uh, we'll take a look again. I gotta get my knife. I think I had this thing out. Let's put that away. Yeah, another knife. Uh, looks like a oh, fancy looking thing. Yeah, it's got a quick. Seems pretty good. Yeah, it's a one handed operation. Like that. Okay. That should work good. Put that back in there. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Uh, a nut and bolt. Nut and bolt. I'm not really sure <laughs> why I got a nut and bolt. It don't say anything about it. Maybe you guys have got an idea. I don't. Here is a Another kind of a bag, U.S. Army. And then you can use that for whatever you want. I heard my knife go down in there. What else we got? We got a few other things here, it looks like. This is... I haven't got a clue. It's some sort of a lighter, an emergency lighter, I presume. There's no instructions with it, so I don't know. 
Uh, there he is. There's a little thing inside. But anyway, it's some sort of an emergency lighter. I'm not going to put that there because I probably will lose it. This is a little uh, waterproof. Oh, this is another lighter. Uh, this is a micro lighter, it says. Waterproof. So that could come in handy. I'm going to throw that back in there. And here's... Huh. Well, that's different. It's a razor. I think you could put it in your pack. It's got the blades with it and all of that sort of stuff. And, uh, um, handy. It says here also, well, also available as a camping utensil thing. It tells you that on the back, but that's a razor. So, let's see what else we got. And that we already pulled out. That we already pulled out. <coughs> I hear stuff falling out. Oh, we got another little place here. No, nope, nothing in there. <laughs> so that was it. <laughs> we took a look at it. We seen what it was. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to say what I think. Um, there is supposed to be $250 worth of stuff here. You make up your mind. Uh, you could go onto the Bud Case site and go down the list and see, you know, what things are worth. I could sit and do that too, but I sure can out here. Uh, you know, just take a look. You can make your own decision. As I said, I paid $197 for all of this. That included the tax. Actually, the price was about $170 because it's $169 something. So the overall deal, and as I said, I bought it myself because I wanted to see what anybody that was just a regular person that didn't have magazine columns and and videos and all that sort of stuff what we would get if we ordered it and as you can tell they are definitely not sponsoring me um, and they definitely didn't know what I was going to do so that's something for you to look at if you're ever interested in getting one of these mystery bags that they have and uh, well, that's about it so until next time shoot safe and have a great day of blinking